Imperial City. I'd always heard how impressive it was. The stories didn't do it justice. This is all so much to absorb. I would appreciate your counsel if you have time to speak privately. I don't mean to distract you. I just wanted someone familiar around me for a moment, if only to reassure me that we are still in the Empire I thought I knew. I have long dreamed of reaching the Imperial City, but now that I have, under these circumstances, I am more overwhelmed than ever. But that's what is bothering me. We can't be a long way from home because our home is gone. I can no longer say that what I see is strange or foreign because I have lost what I would have compared it to. I am the one out of place now. I... I would like that. To know you will be there no matter what. I've never had that stability. At least not before joining the school. As a child, I was marked by ill omens, apparently named for them. The people in Two Rivers were polite, but many did not hide the discomfort I caused them. I was watched, studied. If someone's ox died within a season of me bumping my head, it was somehow my fault, and I was treated like a pariah. How do you deal with being able to sense the spirit world when people make such absurd conclusions? I... I cannot change who I am, I know. Perhaps I just have to let all of that go. It will not be easy. But I do feel that you have given me a strength I did not have before. I... very much appreciate your support. We should continue this discussion later. I have much to think about, and our work here has only just begun. The Imperial City. I never dreamed I would reach it. Don't go too far. I'd get lost in this city. I know it. I trust your plans go well, despite the dangers you face and inflict. Is there something I can do for you? That is... an old wound. My departure from the Lotus Assassins was not gentle for either side. My immediate companions, those who were my brothers, fell by my hand. Lim was not among them. He would have died if he was. I was labeled as the one who deserted, and I am occasionally recognized. The result is always the same. Another death, more blood spilled. Such a waste for a hatred they cannot even understand. Regret? I have no regret for killing anyone who challenged me of their own will. Death is a measurable cost of your actions. Some earn it sooner than others. Strength is the way of things, and death is the end, or should be. Some do not respect either. They have enough of one to defy the other. There is a place for the Enforcer. The man or woman who brings death to those who have earned or otherwise deserve it. I consider that to be an honest calling. I did some harsh things while with the Lotus Assassins, but they no longer follow a path I recognize. They are a mirror of death's hand, and he embodies corruption. You will see as you get close to him. He draws out the worst in everyone and displays it for all to see. You have no concept of the devotion of his followers. Perhaps we will talk again when I see more of where your path will lead you. For now, you should continue your search for a means to reach the palace. Your master will be waiting. Goodbye. I can't believe my luck! I arrive home after being lost, only to find that my wife has gone off to visit relatives. No, you misunderstand me. 
My wife, she's not here. I thought I was as good as dead. Now my execution is delayed. Until her eventual return, of course. We made it this far. How hard can it be from here? From what I've seen, you're more than capable of handling anything we're likely to encounter. Like many things in my life, it can be traced back to very bad luck on my part. As I mentioned once before, I was a master of the drunken master style. I was the tournament champion in Phoenix Gate when things spun out of control. My need for wine took its toll on my body. There are long periods I don't even remember. After one such period, I came to, having lost most of my clothes and all my money. I was destitute, and without the ability to buy more wine, I couldn't even fight. Eventually, I found work cleaning out creature cages at the local arena. One day, I was approached by a man who remembered seeing me fight. He offered to sponsor me. Just like that, I was back in the ring. After climbing my way back to the top of the tournament, my sponsor told me it was time to fulfill my end of the bargain. Apparently, the agreement stipulated that I must marry his niece. If only I had read the agreement more closely, I could still be shoveling dirt in the creature cages. Alas, fate had a crueler path in mind for me. Let that be a lesson for you. Always read the fine print, or you may end up with more than you bargained for. Asking the same question over and over and expecting a different answer. Please try to stop reminding me of my mis- You're beginning to sound like my wife. As I mentioned, my d At first I ignored- Prior to one- I spent the next- As to why I- As you say. Always happy to help. What do you need? I don't know about you, but if a member of the Imperial family were leaving me gifts, I'd be mighty curious to learn more. Then again, the Scholar's Garden is full of more hot air than some flyers, so I can understand your reluctance to rush there. I haven't been to the Imperial City in a while. I traveled here some time ago in my hunt for Gao. In fact, this is where the hunt began. I've come full circle. And I think it's time to let go of the past and look forward. We have exciting things ahead of us. There's no point in living in the past either. <sighs> in my heart, I know my daughter rests as easily as any spirit now. Whatever happens, I have that. And if we succeed, I know she finds peace. If I could go back, I don't know if I would. I'm a different man now, and while I treasure the past, I look forward to the future with the same warmth. Besides seeing what trouble you get yourself into next, you mean. I'm excited to be back in the city. It feels like we're one step closer to our goal, but you know that better than anyone. You brought us to this point after all. Who else could have gathered this crew or found such a quick way out of Tien's landing? I know about your history, your heritage, but does it bother you? Is it something you wish weren't part of your life? Some would shy away if presented with your situation, but you embrace it. This city is in for quite a surprise now that you've arrived, I wager. 
Let's go see how much trouble we can cause. Of course. I'll be here if you need anything. What? What do you want? Well, the city has everything you could ever want. Fighting, money, wine, and... and something else that people like, but I can't quite remember what it is. Oh, well, I'm sure it'll come to me once I've had a few bowls of wine. Let's get something to wet our tongues. Women! That's the one I forgot. <laughs> I must be getting sober if I'm forgetting that one. Whatever. What a wondrous flyer you have. You don't see any of that design about the city. Since they became more common among the nobles, flyers have been fascinating to me. Allow me to officially welcome you to the Imperial City. I am Bai, the Outcrier, and I am here to direct you around our illustrious capital if you have any questions at all. It would be an honor to say that I aided someone who was greeted by Princess Sun Lian herself. A pleasure to be of service. Enjoy your stay here. On the lookout for the scourge of the south it is your duty as citizens of the empire to report anyone who matches this description keep an eye out for a large wild looking man wearing nothing but a loincloth reports suggest he is well over seven feet tall and fully armed this man is very dangerous do not try to apprehend the scourge of the south but instead report what you've seen to the authorities immediately well, all these years together, and I never suspected you were the scourge of the South. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know it's not funny. At least they didn't get your looks right. The scourge of the South. Out of sheer spite, the Scourge flooded ancient ruins, wantingly destroying our very own heritage. The Scourge associates with nefarious fox spirits, aiding them in their occupation of our once pristine forests in the south. And greetings, citizen. Imperial Captain Sen at your service. Are you one of the mercenaries come to help me track down some criminal scum? I was told that there were some new warriors in town looking for work, though none of them matched your description. Admittedly, you don't resemble the ones described to me, but they're several days late. No doubt they'll blame it on the foolish ghost stories. I need help tracking down a pair of criminals. Are you interested in a little well-paying work? These two scoundrels have eluded my best efforts, so I'm turning to bounty hunters. It's harder to run when your pursuers are not in a uniform. I see no problem hunting down criminals, so long as we don't draw too much attention to ourselves. I'm searching for an arsonist and a notorious confidence man. Find and eliminate either one and there's a standard bounty in it for you. A wise decision. The two criminals are Fading Moon and Creative Yukon. Fading Moon is an arsonist who was last spotted heading for the necropolis. Creative Yukon has virtually disappeared, though we may be able to learn something from Lady Rento, the wife of the man Yukon bilked. She's in the Imperial Arena.
fading moon is an arsonist. Her first fires were in the poor quarters, but her last one spread to the market district gate. Last we heard, she had escaped to the necropolis. The gates between here and the poorer districts will be closed for some time while repairs are underway. There's nothing particular about the scene of the crime, just ash. Well, as I said, she confined them to the poor districts. She would have been impossible to catch in that rat's nest. More frankly, there isn't enough money to make it worth my effort. Yukon fleeced some silver from Lord Rento, a powerful man in the Ministry of Harmony. Yukon is a master of disguise, and he has hidden himself somewhere in the city. Lord Rento is away on court business, but his wife informed me that she'd be in the heart of the Empire in the Imperial Arena if we needed her. You could start there. Right you are. Remember to keep an eye out for anyone suspicious. Always a pleasure. I know little more than what the Honorable Lotus Assassin presented. Some treasonous southerner has been undermining the Ministry of Harmony and causing countless deaths. Not as such. The Lotus Assassins want to deal with this traitor personally. I don't envy anyone who's attracted that kind of attention. There is no such thing. If the Lotus Assassins have identified a treasonous criminal, you can be assured that person is guilty of something, or will be soon. The Lotus Assassins are never worried. Their control, their protection, I should say, of the Empire is absolute. What could threaten them? I would like to advance, but I'm not angling. I simply accept that the Lotus Assassins are the true power in the Empire, and I support them. Right you... That's why my men brought you to me. I wanted to finish this personally. But I... Don't even try to make this better. You should have won that fight, Zhang. But you suddenly developed that blind spot, didn't you? Did the glint of silver get in your eye? Joe, honestly, I... You needed something for to witness it, one? Yes, I need to speak with you in private. It seems Warrior Zhang has decided to retire. I'm finished here. If you're here to fight, do what they tell you.
You couldn't see for yourself? I was just retired from the Imperial Arena. Guess my spot in the roster is yours if you want it. Go find Kui the promoter if you think you can fill my shoes. He's always upstairs in the third room over or so, and looking for new blood. I'm taking what I have left from my winnings and leaving. Welcome. It's always good to see a new face at the counter. If you've got silver to spend, I'll be happy to help you out. I'm known as Thunderous Tauren, and you are my most honored customer right now, so you have all of my attention. You look like a warrior to my eye, probably not fit for the odds and sods the usual patrons might pick up. Stop by again. But miniature Ravager hoods for the kids are coming in any day now. You know you'll want to. Remember Jing Wu back in Two Rivers? He talked of fighting in the Imperial Arena one day. He would have done well. You interrupt me. If you must know, I, lustful Lao, conqueror of the female kingdom, was emanating my yang. It is but one of my many irresistible charms. That's exactly what I intend to do. Now leave me, and don't stand between that waitress and me. You'll disturb the harmonies I've established. With lemongrass, lemongrass on the side, lemongrass removed once cooked, make up your damn mind. Don't you just love the Imperial Arena? No other place like it in all of the Jade Empire. Were you looking for me? I'm Lady Rento, and I was expecting someone sent by Captain Sen. Oh, poor Yu Kong. Captain Sen's still willing to do my husband's bidding and hunt him down, is he? I swear, my husband is insufferable. Yu Kong's a harmless aspiring actor who asked me if I would act as his patron. Since my husband was away from the city, again, I accepted and gave Yu Kong a moderate stipend. I thought he was charming. That was how my husband presented the situation to the authorities. He didn't want to face the shame of supporting a humble actor. My husband's a fool, but when he lowers his head, all I can do is let him charge and hope he rams something solid enough to slow him. Probably less than my husband is putting forth as a bounty for poor Yukong. That young man doesn't deserve this. I would wager that you'll find him in the Scholar's Garden. Yukong was going to try out for that new play. It's going to be put on soon in the Golden Way, I'm told. Should be exciting to watch. Yukong was going to try out for a role as a scholar, so he may be using his costume to hide in the garden. He's not much of a scholar, so you should be able to spot him. If you happen to find creative Yukong, do go easy on him, would you? 
The poor boy did nothing wrong, and my husband is being unusually cruel to him. Good luck with your search. I have to get back to the estate. So much to do. Intolerable. One more mistake, Kui, and I'll have you retired. Finding someone else is your problem. But... Enough! Find a solution and leave me alone. This is not an approbate time to... Wait a moment. You, you have the look of a fighter about you. Those hands, that stance, even your eyes. I'd know that look anywhere. You must be here to join the most glorious contest in the Empire. Isn't it fortunate that Lucky Cho and I were just discussing how this place needs an infusion of new blood? Master Lee used to say that the arena was once the greatest contest in the Empire, but that it has been corrupted in recent years. Come with me a moment and we'll engage Tate in some dissertation about the best decision you'll ever make. This is turning out to be an excellent day, most ostapacitaceous indeed. I apologize if I'm using words beyond your grasp. Very few people can match either the supply or the command of my language. Strong build, good shoulders, not half bad looking either. You've got what it takes to make it in today's arena. The question is, can you fight? Are you worthy of the arena? I say the answer is a clarion and resoundering yes. I may not have heard your name before, but you walk like one who has seen many battles. You are indeed mysterious, stranger. What say we get you signed up for the greatest attraction in all the Empire? The arena awaits. That's the spirit of the thing. Now, what name precedes you in your travels? I've heard that one before. Have you any idea how many bored students peramputate down here from the Scholar's Garden? Think of something that would sound engaging, ringing down from the rafters. That's how we'll bill you. Silver Phoenix. Silver Phoenix. Conjures up quite an image. Are you certain? Then that is what you shall have. Come and tell me when you're ready for a fight and I'll get you started. Since you're new, you'll start in the qualifying rounds. The money's small at that level, but it's there. Any other questions? One other thing. You should talk to the other fighters now and then. They will be watching you and you should get to know them as well. We're all one big happy family. You're a big happy idiot, Han. As you can see, they always have something to say. I must say I'm disappointed. You're ready to start your career, but you walk away. Insuspicious beginnings, my friend. <laughs> 